Derek, uh, big smile on your face there, and little wonder you must be absolutely over the moon. Delighted with every single one of the players tonight. It's a good night for the club. You've seen Cotodri at its best. Um, the supporters really energised and getting behind the team. Um, you know, a big, big turnout for them, and it was important that they saw the team win tonight. Um, thank them all for, for for getting behind the team at times, for not getting as anxious as we were um, at times in the second half. But they've seen they've seen our team win. Um, and deservedly win tonight with two magnificent goals and loads of effort from every single one of the players. It's no easy beating Celtic, um, regardless what way you do it, whether it's against 11 men or 10 men. Um, and uh, it's just a, a, it's great to win the three points tonight against tough opposition. You can see why these players play for Celtic, you know, they never know their beat. Um, I thought they took full responsibility in the second half uh, for, the, uh, for their side. I thought they um, pushed the full-backs on. I thought the introduction of Forrest caused us problems. We were too deep. Um, partly because Celtic were keeping the ball really well and forcing us deep, but partly with our own, um, our own doing as well at times. And it was a bit frustrating that we, um, not frustrating, a bit disappointing that we never kept the ball better. Um, and allowed the game, not allowed the game, but at times allowed the game to to pan out the way it did. You know, I think when Celtic scored a goal, it adds to the anxiety in the ground and and it adds to the belief of Celtic that they might just get some. But over the 90 minutes, I thought we, we were a better side, we created the better opportunities. The right decision by the referee to send Van Dijk off. Um, Peter Paul at breaks a button again, spooking him and, and uh, forcing that. And um, we should really make it, it was celebrate a good night for our club because that was it's a big ass beating Celtic. They're proud of their unbeaten record. They've been um, they've, they've made that really clear for a long time now. Um, and um, you know if if we didn't get the credit possibly we deserved at Parkhead, I'm sure we'll get it tonight.